hello this is your girl Danny B welcome if this is your first time here hey booze have a seat join the fam bam I'm happy that you have joined the family if this is not your first time here welcome back booze you know I appreciate y'all because this is why I do what I do because y'all keep coming back to support your girl now with that said oh first let me let y'all see what I got on cuz um well I'm gonna just let y'all see the top part Got on me a little dress. It's cute. Tomorrow is my founder's day. I am a member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And we will turn 101 tomorrow. So Z Phi, my sorors. Z Phi. Now, since we've gotten all the niceties out the way, I know y'all are here for a reason. Don't judge me. We're gonna wrap a taste real fast. And basically, it's all about why your chapter has a bad rap. Yeah, I mean, it might not be you. But it might be you, it might not be you, but it might be you and you and you. Who knows? Today, I'm just gonna wrap a taste. We gonna get it in and we gonna get out because I, I got stuff to do. I got stuff to do and I know y'all do too. Let's go. All right, so I have about five reasons. There are no particular order, but I'ma just go down the line. Number one, you got low quality events. Like, come on. Your events aren't helping anybody on campus. They're not exciting. They're not doing anything that people, um, you don't have an audience for it. So when you're making events, make sure they fit your audience. Don't do events that you think are good because you like it. Do events that you like that are also applicable to your area. And I'm not just talking about undergrads. I'm talking about grads too. I'm talking about all of us, because guess what? If you on campus and you doing a program about international dishes or cuisines and you know mostly everybody eat the same stuff like American dishes, why would they come to that event? I mean, I know that's crazy, but I'm like, it's as simple as that. Marketing 101, know your audience. Number two, y'all not visible. You ain't visible in person. You ain't visible on social media. What, what y'all think? I mean, do y'all really think people just supposed to come out of nowhere and find y'all? Now, what y'all got to remember is this ain't the 70s. This ain't the 80s. This ain't even the 90s. This the 2000s. Like, things are so much easier. So it's like you need to make sure that you have a presence so people can find you. People can contact you because guess what? People ain't built the same. Like... They don't do, it, it's not as hard, and I get it. Like, I'm happy that things have changed, but it's just like, don't expect everybody to have the same passion, the same, like, the go get an attitude that you had, because if you were that person, you like, well, they better find us. How they gonna find you if you ain't got a Twitter? You ain't got a Facebook? You ain't got an Instagram? You ain't even got a website? How are they supposed to know where you at? Make it easy for them because guess what? That's the easy part right there. Just letting them know how they can contact you. Then everything else is on them. Don't not make yourself available. You should be able to have a way for people to find out who you are, what you're doing, and then make a decision off of that. If you ain't on campus, Got your now your own. I don't see y'all in the streets doing no work. You ain't on social media. What I'm supposed to do? How I'm supposed to find you? I mean, I'm already in. <laughs> and for the people that's trying to find y'all, how they supposed to find you if you out here playing peekaboo? You know, maybe I wasn't out here today. Maybe we'll try to do a Facebook page. Maybe we'll have a website. Y'all, get it together. If these undergrads out here got all these accounts, y'all better get on their level and stop playing. Marketing 101. Number three, y'all don't stand out. Y'all basic. I mean, let's just be real. Some chapters are flat and some chapters are so vibrant, so out there, so man, like you just be like, hey, can I transfer to that chapter? And I'm talking about across all orgs. This ain't just, and I'm not speaking about Zeta. Zeta. I'm speaking about all orgs. You really have to stand out. Like what makes you different you know what i'm saying so for example for me if somebody came up to me they already know about sbz they already know what we do because guess what we out here we work we work in the community we're employed by a lot of the organizations that we get to push our work through with zeta 
We get to partner with other people. So we got a nice rep in a community. They know SBZ work. They know we're visible. They know we have ways to be connected. They know our events are applicable. They know, they know, they know. Uh, like I was saying, stand out. Like people ain't gonna be checking for you if you just blah. Like, don't get me wrong, you will find some people that like blah because that's what they into and that's what they like. But for the most part, people want to belong to something, belong to something that's bigger than them. That's just like, oh my gosh, look at all the bells and whistles. That's what attracts people. So again, get your stuff together. Make sure your marketing be on point. And again, for your, um, like if you know you ain't good at marketing and all that, find somebody that can help you with your flyers and all your promotional things. Find somebody who's good at that. Matter of fact, that's how you'll be able to interact with other people because maybe you can find somebody in a class or something, talk to them, y'all get to talking, hey, can you help me do this? Next thing you know, you got an interest. Now, number four, and I know some people gonna be upset about this one, but I really don't care because guess what? It is what it is. Y'all look a mess. I mean, come on. Nobody wants to be attached to something that looks, ugh. You know, you don't want to be that side-eye chapter. My chapter don't get side-eye because <laughs> we on point. But I'm just saying, your whole org should be on point is what I'm trying to get at. And when they're not, whatever people are seeing is what people are going to think about your org without even meeting you. They're going to be like, oh, the Zetas, yeah, the ones in XYZ, yeah. So I'm good on them. You don't want that. You don't want that. Stop looking a mess. And for real, if y'all see me looking a mess, you know because your girl is sick or there's something going on that I look like this. But on a regular, when people see Danny, they know Danny pops out. Get it together. And oh, let, let's, just, let's just hit this elephant that's in the room where people be trying to come at Zeta and be like, oh, yeah, these Zeta bears and they be looking a mess. Guess what, boo-boo? Don't do us because you know what? There's people in every org that looks a mess. And I'm including the frats. So we're not going to act like just because y'all men, y'all get a pass. Y'all don't get a pass. Y'all be looking messed up too. And I'd have had to pull a few of my brothers to the side like, bro, what, what's going on today? You know? But in general, you want quality people who look quality. High quality. Not just any quality. High quality. So again, don't, don't come for Zeta. Each one, teach one. Worry about your people, you know. But don't, don't act like, oh, well, Zeta's the only ones that have issues. No, we didn't hide. I talk to my sisters. You talk to your brothers and sisters or whatever y'all got. I mean, I didn't mean it like that. That was kind of shady. But what I'm saying is, you know, when you talk to your own people and you have those relationships, people will do better. So that's all I'm saying. If you want your people to do better, you want your whole organization overall to be seen as a, in a good light, we all have to be on the same page. Don't look a mess. Now the last one, and I know this one gonna hurt some people's feelings, but again, it's the truth. So the truth hurts sometimes, you know? I mean, change is an uncomfortable process, but you need to know, y'all take anybody. Word out on the street is, I could become a whatever it is because this chapter thirsty for members. They thirsty for money. So I'm going to go ahead and get in on this chapter. I really don't want to do the work. I really don't like how the chapter looks, but I can be that different looking one. I can be the one that they're like, you look nice to be a blank. That ain't cool. Stop taking everybody. Do your observations. Find out more information about these people before you welcome into these organizations because we are the gatekeepers. Like, I knew, I knew I was being watched. I knew I was being observed. Well, you know, I come from a family of Greeks, so I already knew what to expect. But, like, what about people who don't? They don't know. But I knew. So I was always on my A game. And it wasn't that I was being fake. It was just I was being who I was. And that's what I'm saying. We're not here to groom people. I'm sorry. We're not here to groom. We're supposed to be part of the talented 10th, remember? If you don't know what that is, look it up. 
But the point I'm trying to get at is, if you're taking in anybody, you're watering down the potency of your organization. You're watering down the effectiveness of your chapter. You're messing up the chapter and the organization's image. Because guess what? You ain't gonna get those high quality members. Why would they wanna come into something that look like that? If I know what I can bring to the table and you look in a whole mm, whatever, I'm a pass. Oh, you can extend me an invite, but guess what? I'm okay because I don't fit in here. And people wanna fit in. And when I say fit in, they actually wanna make sure that we're all looking cohesive. So if I know I'm gonna pop out and then you over here looking like plain Jane, that's an issue. Especially if we're doing like an event or something, I need you to be on your tens. It ain't nothing else but tens. So yeah, stop being thirsty. Stop being needing money. Stop being needing bodies to do work and do your due diligence and be that gatekeeper that you should be because these organizations, which eight of us have already been a hundred years, need in order to succeed thank y'all if you got something to say about what i said put it down below now y'all know i'm a scorpio and i'm very opinionated but i'm real chill and i welcome i welcome conversation i love a good debate you don't agree with what i said let me know down below if you agree with what i said let me know down below i'm just saying i'm not the messenger I mean, dang, I am the messenger, but I didn't put this out here. It's bigger than me. So, D9, what's good? Holla at your girl.